Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at X-Ray from Rasmus. All right, so what is X-Ray? X-Ray is basically a witch hand effect that doesn't rely completely on you. There is a gimmick aspect to it, so it kind of helps you, gives you a little bit of an edge. If you remember, uh, Rasmus also published an effect called Totally Crazy Bands. So uh, you like this, maybe you could look up that one as well. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You get a real box. It's a silver metal, kind of feels like an Altoids tin. It's kind of like that same quality. And it's wrapped in a little plastic sleeve so that it keeps all the stuff inside together. Um, but what I found is once you take that little sleeve off, it's kind of hard to get all those things back in the box and close it up. So I'm probably going to have to keep my trick in something else. But what you're going to get is you're going to get all the little, um, little plastic balls that you need to do the effect. You're going to get a couple of uh, white balls and one black ball. And that's just so that you can do uh, a which person has the black ball mental effect. You could have four people select a ball, one person has the black, and then you're able to determine uh, which one has the black. And so you get those. Um, you're going to get your gimmick and then you're going to get your thing that helps make your gimmick a machine. And we'll talk about that. Uh, you're going to get a little velvet bag to store everything in. And that's probably how I will store mine. Is it what I thought? You know what? I didn't know what to think just from watching the video. Um, there's always a way to do a witch hand routine. There's ways to do it gimmickless. There's ways to do it with a gimmick. Uh, and so no, going into this, I knew that it was a gimmick, but just then the question becomes which gimmick. And so there's one kind of gimmick that's a little bit more popular than most, and it's probably going to be the gimmick you're thinking of, but I was still very pleasantly surprised to receive this. It was, uh, it, it was, it was really shockingly good. How are the angles on this? The angles are super clean. You should not get caught at all. In fact, uh, one of the pieces that comes with this is a gimmick or it's a utility that you've seen before. You should already be familiar with how to camouflage this utility. So all in all, your, your, your angles should be completely foolproof. Can it be inspected? Absolutely. There shouldn't be anything to inspect, uh, really. And uh, Rasmus does go over uh, using this effect so that it's not just the little balls. You could do it with dollar bills, you could do it with coins, so there's other ways to do this effect. You should be totally uh, inspectable uh, when this trick is over. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it's decent. It's a decent video. Uh, there is no live performances. We have two um, performers, we have two uh, actors uh, in a really small, really tight, cramped studio space, uh, and they don't leave that little, this little studio. Uh, they said it's Murphy's Magic uh, out in Europe, and so um, you have that space, and that's pretty much where they stay. Rasmus is, is one of the teachers, and you're, you get a table. You pretty much have two camera shots. You have the wide of both of them, and then you have the close-up of their hands. Um, they, it's kind of echoey. I don't think they're mic I think they probably have a mic above them, so it, the room echoes a little bit. Both of them have an accent, but that's not... Uh, difficult to listen to, that's not difficult to understand. It is a little short, it's 28 minutes. 28 minutes is a little bit on the short end, but uh, other than that, it's still a really good video. Is the gimmick well made? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of attention was put into this, and I can't imagine you getting something better. In fact, once you get it, I think you'll be able then to modify it and um, improve it for yourself. And in fact, uh, if yours wears out, which I highly doubt, uh, but let's say you lost it, okay? Let's say you lost it. You'd be able to take your knowledge and re-kind of fabricate it and put it together and kind of construct your own. So, uh, but I think that what you get is the best of the best. All right, so how much practice does it require? Okay, so the practice doesn't come from the routine so much as it comes from you being confident, okay? Uh, and really to do this, you know, I, I immediately wanted to test this out, right? I tested it out on my wife, tested it out on my son, uh, and just, just to get the feel of, okay, which hand is it in? And you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes at the beginning. And so I would just say, your practice is really gonna be on another person. Like you could do it on yourself, but inside in your head, you know which hand it's in. So you're gonna fool yourself. You really wanna do it on somebody who you can do it on over and over and over again. Like do it on a spouse, do it on a friend, or do it on your kid, and just keep doing it until you get really confident. And then when you start getting that confidence, um, 
then you'll be able to kind of frame a little routine around it. And I think it's a really beautiful piece of magic. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, so arts and crafts wise, uh, th there's not much. There is little one, uh, a little, there is one little adjustment that you could make. Uh, he, Erasmus recommends that you do make it. I haven't done it only because I'm always afraid to cut and paste and tape and scissor my stuff. Like I'm just always worried that once I cut it, I can't undo it. So I've been able to make it work without making any adjustments. You might need to make an adjustment depending on your style or your body type, okay? Um, but there might be some adjustment you have to make at the beginning, but once you've done that, uh, the setup and reset on it is instantaneous. All right, so positives. What are the positives to x-ray? This is what a witch hand routine should look like. Everything you've heard about this effect is true. And I would argue you could perform this blindfolded, you could perform this naked, you could perform this with noise canceling headphones on. You don't even have to ask them any questions. In a real magical situation, if you were really a mentalist, the spectator should just be able to reach their hands out and you would say, which hand it's in. And that's what you do. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives to x-ray? You know, I've heard a lot of people have had issues with getting this effect to be 100%, because it does say it's 100% in the ad copy. But I think, um, like I said at the beginning, it just takes practice. You need to make that adjustment to your gimmick if you have to, and you gotta get some practice. And I think once you put that practice behind you, where you're confident, okay, and you've maybe made that adjustment, I think you can work it up to 100%. So other than that, I don't think there is any negatives. Uh, and a real good mentalist should always have an out anyway. You know, you should always have an out. Uh, nothing is 100%. Let's just say it's 99.98%, okay? You should always have an out as a mentalist. Don't rely 100% on your props. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's a little high. <laughs> it's 50 bucks, okay? It is $50 and you are getting a 28 minute video. It doesn't seem like a lot for 50 bucks, but um, you do get a lot of ideas. Rasmus through the video does give you multiple ideas for handling and for posture and for presentation and for, oh, you don't need to use the balls, you can use this and here's a different routine. So um, I would just say, I think the reason why it's priced so high is number one, you're getting a quality gimmick that probably wasn't cheap to make, okay? And number two, this is really for the working professional. There are other witch hand routines out there that are priced lower if you just want to do this casually or for friends. I would just say if you're gonna pay the 50 bucks, you're the type of person that's gonna use this professionally in your walk around routine. This is perfect for restaurant magic. This is perfect for uh, corporate magic. This is perfect for a parlor and start stage and party. Like this is, a, this is the best. Like this is a great, I mean this is probably my third or fourth witch hand routine I've purchased and so I think this is great. Who would like this? Like I said, working professionals. I think this are, these are gonna be people that are attracted to this the most, okay? The working professional. Uh, all right, so that's my review for X-Ray from Rasmus and Murphy's Magic. Uh, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for, for providing this trick for me so that I could review it for you. And if you wanna purchase yours, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.